So I'd like to introduce Amy Slater, the uh, new CEO for eVictoria, and also taking on the role as event director for Dressage and Jumping with the Stars. So Amy, we'd all love to hear a little bit about your story and your involvement in equestrian sports and, and the lead up to you becoming CEO of Victoria. So you grew up in the States? I did, I grew up in Arizona uh, and I was an elite young writer back in my 20s. I competed at four of the National Young Rider Championships and I was one qualifying competition away for the 96 Olympic team. Wow, amazing. And, and from there, then, did you, did you continue on in the sport? I did in a professional level for a while, and then I went back and uh, returned to university to get my business degree. And from that point, I moved into international digital strategy, and I worked with most of the major IT organizations around the world, which um, brought me to Singapore, where I was based for uh, almost 15 years. Um, and that's when I started to ride horses again, and I started on a couple off-the-track horses. How fantastic. And, and then you moved to Australia? Yes. Um, luckily, I married a very handsome Australian fellow. <laughs> of course. That brought me home. Um, and we moved here uh, September of 2020. And then, nine months ago, you... Nine months ago, I started, or I started working at Equestrian Victoria, so I was ready to kind of move off the multinational um, stage and wanted to work in an environment where I felt that I could contribute something more directly to um, my passion. And I've never, the horses have never left that side of my, in my personality. Fantastic, and, and congratulations on, on your position and taking time out. I know you're flat out trying to organise this event and, and we'll have a chat about that a bit later. But uh, yeah, congratulations for everyone and uh, we really look forward to seeing E-Victoria go ahead in leaps and bounds. And uh, good luck with much. your position. Thank Thanks you. for your time, Amy.